All right, traders, within this video, I'm going to be showing you how to trade the best setups at the best prices. Fridays are known for being my best days trading. With that being said, I am going to prepare you for the upcoming short term micro price action trading opportunities, the scalping opportunities. I'm going to be getting right into it. We're going to be going over the SPY, CEI, SAVA, SVRE, BBIG, Triple BY, and Walmart. These are going to be the top plays that I'm going to be watching into tomorrow. Some of these plays are going to be unfolding tomorrow at the best prices possible to be trading at. As long as we get confirmation and the reaction that we're looking for, I will be looking to enter these trades. These are mainly micro focused, meaning these are going to be quick scalps, and these these um you know levels that we're looking for are expected to hit sooner than later. So either tomorrow or into next week. So let's go over it. First things first, let's go over the SPY. The SPY is chopping at the top. When SPY chops at the top like this, chops at the top like this, it tends to pull back overall. In terms of tomorrow, what I would love to happen is I would love a move up. I would love a move up. I would love a gap up in terms of the best price for puts. It's going to be at this key gap close reversal level. If you study the history of SPY, you can see there's a very strong resistance channel at 428.50 to 429.06, where it gaps down, goes back up to fill the gap, has a reversal, big micro sell off. Pops back up to fill the gap, has a micro reversal, big micro sell off. I'm not expecting some sort of massive move to the downside in terms of the short term, but I am interested in scalping puts. And when I feel like it's going to be another good swing trading put option opportunity on this buy, I will let you know. That's going to be coming up soon. It could be as early as tomorrow or it could be into heading into next week, but that's going to be coming soon as well. We've been shopping in this micro channel for a total of four days now where the bottom has been towards this 424.50 and the top has been overall towards this gap fill range of 429. With that being said, the best price for puts tomorrow is going to be $429.70. That is the best level to be scalping puts for tomorrow. Now, another level that I am showing some interest is going to be 427.89 to 428. That's my second best level. Those are the two levels that I'm interested in buying puts. If the SPY gaps down tomorrow, I'm going to be looking for 427.89 as a potential put scalp. If it goes above that, then my next level is 429.70. If the SPY gaps up, I'm going to be looking for a 429.70 resistance level for the puts on the initial entry instead of a breakdown below 428. What I want you to understand is the best resistance level for puts right now is the gap close reversal at 429.70. I want you to think of 427.89 to 428 as a key breakdown towards major resistance. It is a decent level, not the best. You'd have to use a tight stop at 428.50 if you were to do puts at that level. But in terms of this 429.70 level, that's the best level possible. And the risk on that would be a 430.50 to 430.60 on the scalp. And um, 428, if that reacts as a resistance. So basically, if I see the SPY struggle, react as a resistance, form bearish confirmations, I'm willing to take puts. If it gaps up, I want 429.70. If it gaps down, I want 428. But um, if it reacts bearish at one of those key levels, I will be interested in puts. Obviously, I'll be doing slightly heavier, heavier size at the best level. Um, so that's my thoughts and that's my thoughts and that's the analysis on the overall spy. We're due for some sort of micro pullback, nothing crazy. These past couple days, it's been extremely choppy, hasn't been the most volatile, especially today. I think things are going to pick up a little bit tomorrow. So I'd like to see a nice move up for a gap close reversal at 429.70. That's what I'm looking for, for a nice quick micro scalp where I get in, get out, make a nice quick 20, 30% return on the put options. Let's get into our next play. Our next play, we need to go over triple BY. It is now at 1027. I made that video telling people, I made that video, I think it was on what? It was on like August 15th. So you guys can go back and see for yourselves. I told people $27. That's where you, you want to go heavy on puts, $27. Nearly at the top. It got to a high of 30 at the most. So um, we got a massive sell-off. We got a massive sell-off. The apes got trapped. With that being said, you know, this is just a classic example of being greedy, right? The chart gave it all away. $30 was the high, big downside potential, big downside potential from 29, from 28. The chart gave it all away. And we had a gap to fill right around here. It filled the gap and it had a reversal, right? So the strategy worked once again. You guys are well aware when these bearish candlesticks form on the daily chart, 
towards the top of the resistance channel, what tends to happen? It tends to sell off. So with that being said, I don't want to go chasing a put at these levels. In terms of the short term, I'm going to give you two levels where I'm interested in scalping. So the keyword here is scalping, getting in, getting out with a tight stop loss because I'm well aware how ugly this can get. But um, I've got two levels. And in this situation, you're better off going with the lower level. The first level is 816. There's a gap to fill at 816. That would be one of the best levels for a micro scalp on calls to do shares. Our second level is going to be 615. That's going to be your best level to buy the dip for a nice scalp. If you see daily bullish candlesticks right before the market closes at one of those levels, ideally 615, you're going to want to do a swing trade on BBBY in terms of the shares. Options can be extremely risky. So with that being said, in terms of day trading levels to buy for a quick scalp, 816 and 615, I would focus on the lower level with this one as it is extremely um, high risk, but it is due for some sort of pump after this massive move to the downside from 30 to 10s. We are due for some sort of little micro bounce. And in terms of where I believe that bounce is going to occur at 816 or at 615, and it has to confirm and has to show signs of support, some volume coming in. Um, you know, some higher support, some strong consolidation it has to form bullish confirmations. I'm not just blindly buying into levels if it reacts bearish and does not react the way I want it to. So with that being said, that's my only game plan in terms of, you know, for triple B Y. Now, um, in terms of puts, $23 and eight cents, $23 and eight cents is going to be your best level for puts. In terms of my second best level for puts, it's going to be at 1855. Those are my two best levels to buy put options. I'd be willing to hit it at 855 without a problem as that previous support right here is now clearly a resistance level with big downside potential, right? This is exactly what happens when, you know, a stock like when a stock um, bottoms out at a key support level, it goes from 18s to 30s. That's an overreaction. When it cracks that support and turns it into a resistance level, instead of having that big 10 point move to the upside, it's going to do the inverse and have that 10 point move to the downside. That's when you know, you know, it's, it's, that's, that's what people need to understand. They need to understand risk. They need to be aware of, you know, this just went from 18 to 30. If this cracks 18 and I'm long on triple BY, I must get stopped out because it can do the inverse. Instead of having a big 10 point move to the upside, it can have a big 10 point move to the downside. That's why, you know, if you can, you can buy the dip, you can trade at these key levels, but if it goes against you at the best levels possible for the short term, you need to exit that trade because instead of that big move in your favor, it's going to be against you no matter how good the level is, right? So it's all indicated by the chart. The chart clearly said if 18 cracks and turns into resistance, it's going to sell off massively. Um, but with that being said, these gaps have filled over time. Um, this was a classic pump and dump. This was just, it was, you know, just looking back in hindsight at this 28 level, it really does seem so obvious that this was coming. So um, with that being said, like I said, for puts, 1855 and 2308. If you try the level, you get stopped out, do the next level, right? Um, for calls for, um, you know, for buying, $8.16 and 615. So if I bought this at 816 and it drops to like 790, 780, I get stopped out. And then what do I do? I buy at 615 and make it all back. Or you can just buy at the best level and put the best odds in your favor. That is your choice as a trader to trade truly at the best price or a great price. The true best price is 615. Um, so yeah, that's my thoughts. That's my analysis. Um, if you guys watched that video that I posted yesterday on triple BY, I literally told people like, if you want to buy this, you're going to have to wait. You're going to have to wait a lot lower. Um, we discussed 1290 as a possibility, but that's no longer a possibility. We discussed 816 and then the best level was 615. I will say this, there's going to be a great investment opportunity. Not anytime soon when the world forgets about it, when the volume is faded, when it's consistently downtrending and then consolidating, I know where to get a good entry on this stock. I'm going to be investing heavily into this stock when I feel the time is right, when I get the confirmations. It's going to take months. It's going to take months, but I'm going to kill it. But we got to keep an eye on 615 in the low fours. And this could even go lower. I could see this in terms of like 2023. I could see this going under $3. I could see us hitting new lows and then rocketing back up. So in terms of, well, what are the best levels to be buying at? 343 
Where did it recently bottom at? It recently bottomed in the low fours and um, six, $6.15. But I think that's too high for a long-term investment. I think 6.15 is going to be too high for a long-term investment. For a swing trade, that's fine. But um, for a long-term investment, I would aim lower. I'm just saying at some point in 2023 or right before the year ends, there's going to be a great investment opportunity to be averaging in, cost averaging down at the best levels prices, sizing in accordingly. There's going to be another massive squeeze. This is not the end of triple BY. There's going to be a good investment opportunity when the world forgets about it, when it's no longer a meme, when the volume is fading, where it's just crunching at the lows, you know, consolidating with some increase in volume. It's, it's going to be a good opportunity because we now have gaps to fill and the bulls got completely trapped and it will pump. Just it's going to take it's going to take time. It's going to take time and we got to get at the best levels. So, um, you know, those are the micro scalping plays for puts and calls. And then I'm telling you long term. I'm going to crush it. You'll see. You'll see like in three to five months now when I start investing into this, whatever it's going to be, you'll see long term, I'm going to crush this investment opportunity. So um, our next stock is going to be BBIG. For this one, I want you guys to focus on the key level right here. We have a gap to fill on triple, um, on um, double BIG. We have a gap to fill at 113. If you see this hit 113, it's down in after hours right now, as a lot of meme stocks are. If you see it hit 113, it's consolidating, it's forming bullish candlesticks. You're going to want to buy at 113. Set a max risk at 103. If it cracks 103, it's going to sell off very hard because we have a gap to fill below at 70 cents and there's no support. Best level to invest into this stock currently is at 70 cents. That's my key level in terms of swing trade and investing with my confirmations. Remember, I'm using confirmations and reactions. I'm not blindly buying into key levels. So, um... This is the middle, 113. This is the best level, 71 cents. We're going to see how it reacts at 113. If it reacts bullish, you can try buying the dip with a max risk of $1.03. Risk like 10 cents on that. So um, our next opportunity is going to be um, Sava. Sava could have a little micro reversal. If this is green tomorrow, I think it's going to be a good buy for a nice day trade. If you see this green tomorrow, it should be a nice buying opportunity for a day trade. Sava recently gapped up. It went from 24 all the way to 38.87, and then it gapped up again. It formed a lower high, topping at um, $33. As you can see, we got big upside potential at this uh, key gap fill level at 25.72. Sava stock filled the gap at 25.72. The initial reaction was a crack. It pumped back up, turned that previous closing price, the gap close reversal level, into a resistance level, dropping a little bit lower. And then you could see right here, it flip flopped bullish candlesticks bullish candlesticks higher support breakout and it also is trending up a little bit in extended hours so sava is showing signs for a gap close reversal if this is green tomorrow it's going to be an ideal buy an opportunity so um what's our what's our new key level heading into tomorrow 2647 if i see 2647 turning into support if it's barely up on the day slightly in the green i'm going to look to buy it for a nice little quick move to the upside maybe i'll look towards like 28 dollars to take profits something like that just a quick move in and out on sava call options that is going to be the game plan tomorrow and it should be a phenomenal trading opportunity for call options this is going to be a top watch for a gap close reversal if it's green, can turn 2647 previous resistance right here, the top of this channel 2647 into support. We will start to rock it to $28 plus, and I'll be looking to scalp in and out, sell into the rip, not the dip. So our next play is gonna be um just wanted to quickly talk about CEI. You know, some people have been asking me about this one. We had some volume come in with some news. All I'm really gonna say is in terms of this one. It has to um, turn 43 cents into support. There's a gap to fill at 43. If it can't turn 43 cents into support, it's going to sell back off. If it turns it into support, it's going to start pumping um, and have a nice little move to the upside. So your key make it or break it level on that one is going to be 43 cents. Reacts as a resistance breaks down. It's bearish. Reacts as support. It starts to pump. Um, how high would it pump to in terms of the next level? Your next level would be right here. It'd go to about 46 cents. And then that's your new make it or break it level from there. So nothing too crazy at the moment for this one. It's not going to be an easy trade. Um, Walmart, saving one of the best for last. My favorite ones out of this list so far are Spy 
and Walmart. And then a triple BY can get to like $6 tomorrow. I mean, that could be a really good setup, but we'll see how it reacts at eight. But if it drops to six tomorrow, that's just like an automatic buy if it went that crazy. But we'll see if it can get to eight because that's another key level. Um, remember, not all these levels in reactions we're looking for are going to hit tomorrow. The level might hit, but the reaction and confirmation you know, might not hit. If we're doing puts, it has to react as bearish. It has to form lower highs. It has to show backside of the move. We can't just buy automatically at the key level. Um, but with that being said, Walmart had a really nice scalp on this one in the morning. As soon as we cracked the previous closing price, I bought a put when it was at 139.50. Those puts went up 26% in three minutes, sold a little bit too soon, but no such, no such thing as selling too soon as a scalper. If I would have held three more minutes, I would have made another 30% return. It would have been like a 55 to 60% gainer. But um, you, also, you also have to keep in mind, if I were to hold, it could have went against me and I could have gained back my 20% profit. So that's something you have to understand as well. But um, with that being said, you know, we need to pay attention to Walmart. If it can turn this uh, 139.37 into resistance, this is previous support with nice upside. If that reacts as a resistance, like it's doing right now, that's going to be a very bearish confirmation to um, continue to play Walmart puts. So um, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing previous support now reacting as a resistance with lower highs forming. I mean, this was such a great channel to play multiple times today for scalping puts. It's a very lucrative stock to be trading options on. In terms of the daily, what I want you to understand about the daily is this is due for a breakdown. This isn't bullish. It's forming wicks. You have this red candle now. It was red on the day. Like this is showing signs of weakness and the volume's fading. When the volume fades at the high, it can't just sit here forever. It's got to start selling off to fill the gap below. So um, our special levels heading into tomorrow are going to be the following. If 139.07, 139.07 reacts as a resistance, you're going to want to scalp puts. Um, and then in terms of key breakdowns, let's let's discuss the key breakdowns. This is another key level for Walmart. Once this cracks, this is going to be key for next week. Once this cracks 138.20 and reacts as a resistance level, you see it forming lower highs, it's cracking. You're going to want to scout puts because there's no support. There's a big gap waiting to fill below with big downside potential, right? So once you see and analyze that 138 breaks down, pops back up is forming lower highs showing weakness the volume's fading it's breaking down right it's forming those lower highs it's failing to turn 138 to 20 into support it cracks it, it goes back up it forms lower highs it's showing signs of resistance basically something um like this you know where we cracked this key support the previous previous closing price right here it cracks which is bearish pops back up and then it turns previous points of resistance resistance sells off resistance sells off right if you see that occur at 138 dollars and 20 cents this is more for next week if i were um, buying puts at 139 i'd be selling at 138.20 locking in my gains because it can rip off of 138 easily still you got to automatically lock in profits at key levels that's a key level where it can spike but um, i'm telling you once it reacts bearish and cracks and forms the lower highs you're going to want to scalp puts. It's a big downside potential play and Walmart puts are going to have a big print. There's going to be a big day like this. Like these are big prints on puts. It's going to occur. And what I'm telling you is it's going to occur when 138.20 cracks and reacts as a resistance level. This is the best play. This is the play that can make you the cost of trader society easily without a problem. This is like the best play. You just have to know how to identify reactions. Once it, you know, cracks, wait for it to bounce back up. If it forms those lower highs, if it reacts as a resistance, then you buy the puts after the bearish confirmation because it already cracked, it already reacted bearish, right? Wait for the pop back up. Very simple. Just do what it, in terms of like what I'm telling you to do, look at what it did today, previous support into resistance and do the same thing. You could do it at 139, but then what I'm telling you is the big crazy move is going to be this 138.20. It must crack and it must react bearish. It must form lower highs, show weakness, form the bearish wicks on um, backside of the move, right? Previous support into resistance. Because you need to understand you can't just buy puts at a key support level because it can just instantly rip back up. And if it goes against you, you have to get out quickly because it can rip back up and it could flip flop on you because it's support. But once that support cracks, and it pops back up and turns previous points of resistance, it forms those lower highs. This is a perfect example right here with the bearish wicks. 
that's when you know it's going to start to tank. So there you go. That's the, that's like the, one of the best plays I can really give you that I'm seeing because at some point, Walmart's going to get hammered and I'm giving you the key levels on when it's going to occur. So um, don't sleep on that play. I, sh I shared the best one for last. Our last one is going to be SVRE. Um, you know, this very low float, very, very low volume. Looking at the chart, it can continue to pump. I can, can see this continue to pump. In terms of what can occur, it can be something like this. If you compare this candlestick at key support to this candlestick at key support, it really started taking off after that occurred. So we're at key support. We have the first green day coming in in a minute since like um, you know five days. The volume is coming in. So just keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. Just know this is like that pump and dump type of situation. So you get in, you get out if you're going to play this, right? But um, we can see a nice squeeze. I can, I can definitely see a nice little squeeze coming come on this uh, S SVRE. I was alone on this one at 240. Um, shout out to um, D-Bane within the chat. Um, shout out to Dimitri within the chat. He put me on to this one. Um, but we're going to continue to keep an eye on it. So for this one, we got to see if this 290 can hold. This um, 280s, 290s can hold for a continued pump break of three. We just got to keep an eye on it, man. I don't like chasing, but it does look like it can continue to rip. And when it rips, you sell into the rip. You do not keep holding. You sell this shit fast. So um, that's just something to keep an eye on. Um, I really have, I don't have too much interest in that one, but, um, yeah, those are the best setups at the best prices. Um, my favorite ones heading into tomorrow, spy, Sava, Walmart, triple B Y. Those are my favorite ones. SVRE is going to be interesting too, just by seeing how it reacted recently with this move. So um, I just want to see how it kind of reacts in that situation. If you do want to be a part of trader society, now is the best time to join. All of the information is explained in the first link down below in the description. Read the entire page. If you're ready to join us, it's gonna be the first link in the description and you could sign up, you get instant lifetime access to the Discord server, to the networking opportunities within the Discord server, to the live trading streams that I do every single day towards market open, where you get to watch me trade live. You also get access to where you can add me or you know the people within the chat as a friend. You can contact them directly, ask us questions personally. You can also ask questions during the live trading stream, live on spot. I will break down your stocks. I will break down the analysis. I will let you know whatever it is that I think about the stock you have. If you're in a trade, I can help assist you with that trade because I understand price action. I understand the key levels. And my goal is to make you self-sufficient, is to make you a self-sufficient trader where you don't have to rely on anyone else, where you have no interest in blindly following anybody else because you know with your abilities and skill sets, you know what to do. And that's what I want to give to you. I want to give you that gift. So with that being said, you also get access to the video lesson library. That's where you're going to learn how to trade price action, the unique gap trading strategies, gap close reversals, gap build strategies, um, how to trade key trend reversals, how to trade the trend. You will learn the unique you know, price action strategies that I'm using to consistently make money within the stock market. You will also learn risk management, position sizing, psychology, and mindset training. You will also have access um, you know, to everything, to pretty much everything that I've just explained, you know, just quickly recap the live trading streams, the discord server, the video lesson library, and the newly um, updated video lessons that will be added within time. There's a lot to it. There's a lot more to it. If you want to check out everything, it's the first link down below in the description. It's going to be, I'm telling you now is like the best time to be joining and Fridays are known, are known for being my best trading days. We have so many people who um, make back the entire cost of trader society. It's a one-time fee lifetime access grandfathered in for a limited time only they make back the cost of the program before they even join it or when they do join it like their first week so many people have endless testimonials that say i made back the cost of the program the first week and then so I, I can name a list of people who made over 100 times the cost of the program within their first couple months so um yeah if you do want to be a part of it it's going to be the first thing down below in the description i will see you guys tomorrow live at market open we're going to crush it we are going to crush it we got walmart we got triple by we got sava we got spy tomorrow's going to be a nice green day i'm looking forward to it the portfolio today was up over 18 percent as well